Hey y'all, Richard Scouting, Remount Horsemanship once again. This is Sam Little Buckskin Frisian Cross Name Aries. What I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to teach you how I get a horse used to a girth. And not only used to a girth, but used to, once again, anywhere pressure is applied on this horse's body, I want them to yield and not react. What I got is I got my lariat and I made a great big loop and I ran the lead rope through the loop, ran the loop over his neck, and then I walked him through the loop and put it up around his girth area. When you're doing this, the one thing you want to make sure you do is the hondu Get him set forward a second here. Step off to the side so he's not bracing. The hondu is on the bottom. So the hondu is coming under his belly and then up onto the rope. The reason I do that is so that when I add slack to the rope, the weight of the hondu gives a release. So I can play with a little bit of approach and retreat by taking that tension on it, putting some pressure, and then releasing it. Pressure on, pressure off. So make sure the hondu, or the ring of whatever rope you're using, is on the bottom so gravity works in your favor and can help with that release. So I'm doing this after I got my horse used to being roped and then after I got him used to throwing that rope around his neck. That way I'm setting myself up for success when I place the rope around his girth and it's not so much of a steep learning curve. First thing I'm going to do is ask this horse to go around me and just pack it. So his only job is just to walk with that rope around his, his girth area. If things start to go a little bit south, I might have to use the whole round fence, so I might go off the camera. But I'm going to try to do everything right here in the frame. So with him packing this rope, I just want to make sure that with that rope on his girth sitting there, I can take his hips. Take my hand up, step in, take those hips. So every time I add something new, I make sure I didn't lose anything from before. So every time I introduce something new, I got to make sure I still have my safety measures in place so that I can maintain control of my horse. If you're doing this at home, and he might do it too, if things get going real crazy, let go of the rope attached to your horse's girth, gain and maintain control of your horse's head, take the hips, have him stop, turn, face, and wait. So now that he's walking, I'm just going to Add a little bit of pressure with that girth rope and release it. Add a little bit of pressure with that girth rope and release it. So now his only job is to keep walking. So let me kind of play with that girth rope where that cinch will lay. He hasn't been saddled. This is all pre-saddling exercises. He's not showing any signs of tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add steady pressure to this girth rope all my communication I want going through my girth rope, steady pressure, and I want him to stop. So if he keeps walking, that's fine. I'm going to walk with him. As soon as he feels that pressure, I want him to engage his mind, stop, turn, face, and wait. Oh boy. Send it back off. Add pressure. Add pressure. Hold that pressure. And then when he stops, I'll soften, but watch, I want more. I want that head to come in. So when he started to slow down, I got soft in my lariat hand, but I maintained a little bit of pressure to say, you were doing good. I kept a little bit of pressure on there to say, give me a little bit more. He's handling this like a champ. Some horses, it's not quite like this. Walk in, add that pressure. I want him to stop. No communication to the yellow rope. It's all from the rope around his girth. Now I'm going to keep this pressure on this rope because I want him to yield. I want him to yield from this rope. Pressure on. Give me that left front. Y'all see that? Now I'm going to walk back this way. Pressure on the lariat rope, and I want him to walk forward. So if that pressure's kind of pulling him forward, 
There you go. I'll drift with him. And then as soon as he gives me, I'm holding, holding. Then he gets a release. That little filly's trying to dig herself a hole. I'm feeling pretty good, good about it. Pressure on. I want him to come forward. I'll hold. Just thinking what's going on here. Release. blinking he's kind of thinking about what's going on little Philly's over there getting pretty antsy release and I'll end with that left front coming forward pressure on he's gonna hold he's got to figure this out and this is where you wait for the weight Just waiting for him to shift his weight and place his foot He knows his pressure's here. I'm not pulling too hard, but I have enough pressure that he knows that it's a little bit uncomfortable to be leaning back against you. Hind foot. Oh, so close. Pressure on, making that pose a little bit more difficult. What's this guy asking me? For that. Licking two, coming down off of his emotion. So that's a little bit of girth work rope you can do. And I do that with every horse that comes in before I put a saddle on. And the reason I do that is just to help gain them confidence. We work with horses on flags and tarps and, you know, ropes around them. So spend a few minutes getting them used to that girth so that when you put the saddle on, there's one less thing the horse has to worry about. So when the saddle goes on, he's used to that girth pressure. So he'll only be getting used to, say, the stirrups flapping or the weight of the saddle. So you're eliminating one thing to kind of get him boogered by. Huh. All right. Remember to subscribe, like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to y'all later.